new hair, new theories, same old Jelly Knees. What's up, guys? It's me, Jelly Knees. And I'm sure that you've seen in the blog post, but if you haven't, that's what I'm here for, that there's these weird little symbols at the bottom of almost all the blog posts, all but two at the moment. And I figured out what those symbols are with the help of some other people in the Discord. And I'm going to run through those for you guys today. So here we go. Boom, right on into it. So we've got the skins, the skin blog post, the image that's from it. Right there on the bottom, we've got this weird writing. I've been dubbing it Ethereum, though they haven't really said that that's what it's called yet. And so this writing, if you look at it very closely, and I completely looked over this the first time. But the people, there were some members of the Discord, the ones that I remember specifically are Astro and Mangoose, noticed that the little letters on the bottom kind of look like the word cosmetic, which, if you think about it, goes with the theme of the skins. So we go right over, and the word, so if we think that those letters mean cosmetic, that's what it comes out to, which I think is, is brilliant. Uh, and, but it was just kind of the first one off, and the, the kind of, subtlety that they have their own alphabet that we haven't even considered yet so that was the first blog po the second blog post for the skins but we get another one the next week for the minions and sure enough on the bottom of the minions image there is more of that writing so this time not willing to be gl to gloss it over i looked at what we had from the previous image being cosmetic made sure to jot down those letters to know what we look, what they look like. And I figured out that the minions image says the word protect. Something somebody brought up to me in the discord is that this lettering was also around the towers during the extra life test in that the, the towers had a spinning text around them that said something in a different language that nobody understood at the time. But now that we've seen this and have figured out some of the details, we've been able to decipher that. So we took this image, which uh, a member of the Discord, Torky and I, combed through this image for about 45 minutes to an hour. And initially we gave up because we tried to do this after the first blog post. But after the second blog post where we had cosmetic and protect, we figured that we had enough of the lettering to piece together what the words were going around the tower and so we've got this shot of it it's fairly clear it cycles around twice so we we stuck to it what we did figure out is that we can figure out all of the words in this text by inputting the ones we know and then figuring out what the word must be based on that so we figured out that this text means nothing real can be threatened nothing unreal exists now, by figuring this out, this gave us a lot of other letters of the alphabet in order to move forward into future blog posts that we can figure out almost any blog post that they come out with. And so having this information, we move into the week where they give us the item blog image. Now, this image we had the text at the bottom, a lot of letters that we hadn't seen before, but the ones we did have were able to tell us what it was about give us enough context of the word plus the image itself to know that the word is equipment. This gave us another couple letters to add to the cipher that we were building over the course of the weeks of the blog post plus that tower image. So I, after this one, I kind of took it upon myself to go into the Discord and tell the devs that this is no longer hard. This is something that I can I can look at the image and go like, oh, yeah, in five minutes, tell you what the word is because I've been able to figure it out every time and have such an extensive cipher in order to, deci to decipher these words that they're putting on the bottom. So they decide to step up their game a little bit with the next one. They give us the gif of the monsters, the wyverns and atropos. Now, on the bottom of this image, it spells out proclisi, P-R-O-K. L-I-S-I. -I. Clearly not a word in English, but I figured that, great, we put it in a different language. So we, I took it to Google Translate, and it comes up with Slovak, and it says that it doesn't mean anything. And so I kind of look at it, and I start combing the depths of the internet, trying to figure out 
where this word comes from, what language it's in, and what the meaning of it is. And I found a whole bunch of what, of different definitions, none of them really pertaining to anything that had to do with what we were being shown, no words like dragon or anything like that. So it stumped me for a while. And then I stumbled across that it might not, that they may have gotten the word incorrect. And instead of a, instead of a C, they put a K. So I started going down the path of what if it's a C? It's supposed to be a C, but they just got it wrong and still didn't find any answers that way. So I typed in Proclisi, as it's spelled here, P-R-O-K-L-I-S-I, into Google one last time, and it comes up with a Greek television show that ran through the early 2000s. And I'm thinking like, okay, there's no possible way that this is going to help me, but even on the slight chance that it does, let's click on it. So I get taken to the IMDb page, and it's a Greek show about nothing important. But what occurred to me is that this was a Greek show matching the spelling that I had in this word. So I go back to Google Translate, and instead of translating from Slovak, I have it translate from Greek to English. And sure enough, it comes up with the word challenge, which fits in the theme of that these are going to be the challenge bosses throughout the map. But that one was significantly harder. This took me about 35 minutes by itself of scouring to try and figure out what the word was in order to have my best guess before somebody else in the Discord as well. You I mean, you guys know me here. I'm the tinfoil titan. I got to make sure that I'm holding on to my crown here. So this week goes by, and I'm expecting that the week after that, even bigger challenge from there. So we go into the week after, and we get the map image. Now, the map image has two words instead of just one. So I knew that that was already going to be more difficult. But what they did in this one is they not only translated it into a different language, they translated it into a different language and then listed it backwards on the screen for you to figure out. Now, when I looked at this, the letters clearly made no sense and it didn't seem like it was a foreign language either. But I, just in case, put them into Google Translate. So if you look at these letters from left to right, let's see if I can do this. I know what they are backwards, but uh, from, from left to right, we have J M O R T S E K L E V. I can't believe I just did that, but that's what they are. And I'm not even looking at my cipher. I just had to remember those. Clearly, I've been spending too much time looking at these letters. But so that's what it is left to right. So reading it forwards. Put that into Google, Google Translate. Nothing comes up. So I decide that I'm going to flip it. And turns out that the letters backwards are V-E-L-K-E-S-T-R-O-M-J. So clearly still not English. But when I put each word separately into Google Translate, it translates from Slovak to big tree or great tree, depending on which definition of velke you're using. So now we have this image as well that I was able to figure out backwards and change to a different language. So I'm scared for what they do in the future because that was also very difficult to try and get both of those things to line up well. Not as hard as getting the, using the Greek TV show in order to figure out what was going on. But we now know that we have a lot of the letters from this Ethereum alphabet. So what I've done, we've got Great Tree. I forgot to show that one. What I've done is I created a cipher that I'll post a link to in the description below. So all of you guys can join the Tinfoil Task Force, as I've been affectionately calling it. And whenever they release Ethereum writing, you guys will have this in order to go through and see what those words mean. Decipher them yourselves. Now, I pulled every image off of what we were given. So they're not the greatest of images, but you can make out enough of the letter to get by. The letters were missing. It says B is missing, but really we have B. It's just not a clear enough image in order to put on the cipher. But so we need images for B, F, W, Y, and Z. So if you guys find those anywhere, let me know. I'll add it to the cipher. We'll get a new one made for you. But uh, like I said, I'll post this in the description below for anybody that wants to join the Tinfoil Task Force and decipher the Ethereum letters yourself. But before 
we end this video out, guys, I want to take a look at one more image that this week, this last week, they released a fun fact image going over player progression in the game. And they showed that these icons with nine of them silhouetted out of 10, and they've got these gems on the bottom. And I think I know what these gems do, but I'm going to save it for another video. But I'm very curious to hear what you guys think these gems could be related to before that video comes out. It will be another full-fledged tinfoil hat theory on that video, but it'll be coming in the next coming days. So let me know in the comments, guys, what you think about these gems and what they could possibly stand for. I'm curious to see who, who figures it out, at least the same way that I think I have. But guys, one last thing before we end this video as well. I know I've said that once already, but in the last, I believe it's eight videos, I've been wearing this same sweater. And a couple eagle-eyed viewers have figured it out already. But if you take a look at the corner of my sweater, I'll stand here for a second so you guys can get a good shot of it. Those letters tell you when the release date for Ethereal is. So if you guys use the cipher that I'm giving you to figure out what it means, leave it in the comments below because I've been teasing the release date for you guys for several videos now and only a handful of people have caught on to it. But guys, that's it for this tinfoil hat theory. We're going to lose the tinfoil hat, but I will say, guys, if you enjoy this and you want to see me dive deeper in figuring out other things about Ethereal, like more writings or the gems or anything like that, make sure you hit subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment down below. It helps me out a ton. And share this to any of your friends that are excited for Ethereal and you just want to show them that it's got deep lore evolved to it, that they've created their own alphabet for Pete's sake in order to go through all of those things. But that's it for me, guys. I'll see you again tomorrow. Have a great one.